Hey guys, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson. This is my cat, Tack. And today's review is going to be on Thor Ragnarok. Now, I'm going to tell you, um, I'm going to be in the minority on this review. Um, when I say that, I mean that every review that I have seen so far praises this movie as one of the best Marvel movies to date. And to be honest with you, it is a good movie if you want a movie that's just goofy, silly, and funny. Um, you know, there are moments in this movie where I busted out laughing. You know, it does have some very comedic elements to this movie. Um, is it the funniest movie of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? No. Um, it tries to be that. And to some, it might seem that way, but to me, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 is the funniest movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Ant-Man being right under that then you have this movie possibly but there were a lot of things that I did not like about this movie and I can't get into those unless I spoil the movie so um, if you guys want a spoiler let me know in the comments below and I will let you know all the problems I have with this movie and most of it is being a big fan base of this whole 22 movie story arc that they're doing with the Infinity Gauntlet. And if you're not an avid viewer of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know, if you're just a casual movie goer, you will probably love this movie, just like everybody else is raving. But I know people that are just like me that love the Marvel Cinematic Universe and what they've been doing and they love this movie too and I just can't understand it and and I could I'm going to tell you I mean I can tell you right now in the non-spoilers review that one of the reasons why I don't like this movie is that every other line is a joke or leading up to a joke they have a couple of serious moments and then it's just right after that they break it down with a um, joke and I was so sick of it. This is the exact problem I have with Guardians of the Galaxy 2 with them trying to be funny and it just did not work. It doesn't work when you just constantly are telling jokes. I mean, it gets old after a while. After the first 45 minutes, I was like, good God, what, what can we get some story? I mean, can we get some feeling? Can we get some realism in this movie? And Thor was a comedian in this movie. Every character in this movie was portrayed as a comedian. Now just imagine that and if you like that idea of your characters, Loki, Thor, um, even um, Odin, even he tries to be funny. Every character except for maybe Hela. Hela slightly, you know, maybe slipped in a line or two that was funny, but Normally, everything in this movie just tried to be funny, and I was so sick of it. Now, I did like some of the things in the movie, you know, the gladiatorial combat. I love the colors. I love the whole Jack Kirby look of this. And when I say that, Jack Kirby and Stan Lee are the ones that created all of these characters. You know, and Stan Lee is my friggin' hero. Um, but I cannot believe what they did in this movie. I, I thought it was a, a step backward to what was going on in all the other stories. And this is not the Thor, the same Thor that's in the first two movies and the other two Avengers movies. You know, there were some comedic elements with him in those movies and I understand why they wanted to try to do this. And like I said, you, you probably love this movie. I mean, because if you like a lot of jokes and you want to see a funny Marvel movie, this is the movie for you and you will probably give it an 8 out or 10. Um, but for me, as a fan, um, they, they messed up some Planet Hulk stuff that they put in there and Planet Hulk was this you know, big storyline in the comics that everybody was looking forward to in this movie and I feel that they just totally did a disservice for the characters that they did an homage to you know the planet that they're on is the planet from Planet Hulk and I don't know I, like I said I can't get into too much unless I do a spoilers review and I really want to do a spoilers review because I have a lot to say about this movie. I might just do it anyway, but guys, if you want to see that, 
put it in the comments below and I'll do that tomorrow. So that being said, um, what is my score? As of right now, I do believe I need to watch it again. Um, usually when I do a rewatch movie, I know what I'm expecting. So I, I, I know what's coming so I can judge it based on that. This, I went in with high expectations and they got smashed down. I mean like big time down. Um, and that being said, I'm giving this movie, as of right now, I might give it a different score after a, re after a rewatch. Because um, I really need to, you know, get this movie in a few times before I can give it a, a good rating. But me walking out of the theater as of Sunday, I'm giving this movie a four. That's right, I'm giving Thor a four. So, that being said, guys, if you've seen Thor Ragnarok, let me know in the comments below what you think because I'm so interested because I have not seen a bad review. This is the first bad review for Thor Ragnarok that I have found, and I'm going to rewatch my video again, and I'm actually going to see a bad review. But anyway, you, if you go look up any of the reviews, you'll see that they're all positive. People love this movie. You might find one or two here and there, but overall, the consensus is that people love this movie and they want mo more movies like this and it's really scaring me because I've loved every Marvel movie to date you know some were you know less great than others I'm not gonna say bad but just not as good but overall this whole 22 movie story arc that's leading up into Infinity War coming out in May has been excellent and and this this one just really I thought they were gonna lead up to something for that movie and they just dropped the ball big time. But anyway, that's my score. Guys, what do you give it? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And I'm sorry if this is kind of wonky and I'm kind of sounding stopped up, but I'm kind of been under the weather today. So, But I definitely wanted to get this um, review out for you because I'm definitely worried about the way this is going and um, just want to get your opinions on it. But um, that being said, remember guys, the only thing stopping you is you stopping. Bam!